Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. If the sound is a bit echoey, uh, this is how my kitchen sounds like. And we did have so much sun this morning, but by the time I managed to start filming this video, the sun is not out anymore. Uh, we are moving soon, so probably when you're watching this, we will already be in our new house where we will have to renovate the kitchen completely as well. But now I wanted to give you a tour of the house that we sold. So we moved in here in 2015 and the kitchen was our biggest project when we moved here. The kitchen that was installed here, it was in a U shape, so it was going all the way also on that wall. And we realized that they actually just painted the kitchen with a brush. They did a very horrible job just to put the house on the market, I guess. Um, I will see if I can find, I think, a screenshot a photo of how the kitchen looked like on the advert online. And we stripped everything off and we went for a B&Q kitchen. This one is called Cook and Lewis and it's in like creamy uh, glossy finish and this kitchen has been up for six years and in today's video I'll show you everything about the kitchen but first I'll give you a room tour and I will also tell you the regrets that I have about the kitchen. So let's get okay, started. So the kitchen is the room which is parallel to our front room. So as you walk through, there was no, this door wasn't here. It was just an empty entryway. And on this side, we have our fridge that has got lots of stuff on it. And in here we've got magnets. We went... I think three weeks traveling around Spain before we had the kids. I was actually pregnant with Emilia. And this is a tall fridge, is the AEG. So the fridge looks a mess, but it's just a fridge. There is no freezer. We do have a chest freezer in our laundry room and I've got some like baby photos on it. On this side, just been and this is our under the stairs kind of storage. I'm not gonna open because it's full. We use it as a pantry and you can hear the girls. So moving on on this side, this is like the girls corner. We I have the um, IKEA desk. This is their bean IKEA kitchen. I've got my Monsera plant, which I love so much and bless her, she just needs a little bit more space. And I've got here a shelf. This was from B and M. I think it was 9.99, and I kind of tried to style it. But I didn't do a great job. It was like a dead space, so I needed something. And yes, I do have lots of stuff on top of the fridge because it's the only place the girls cannot reach. So yeah. And in here we've got our boiler that is kind of an eyesore, but I try to hide it with plants. That one is just some. Um, for plants from uh, Poundland and uh, we wanted to box it and make like a big storage on this wall but because we knew we were gonna move and this is not our forever house uh, hopefully the new owner will think of what to do to this wall originally the cooker was in here and then we moved it all the way to the other side so this is this side then we have here the door to the conservatory uh, I will do a full house tour and it will be on my channel probably a week or two later after this video. So if you want to see how the house looks like, so you can uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, so uh, there I got again the same style uh, shelves from B&M. And I can't remember how much this was. This was quite cheap. And I've got like a little macrame that I made. This clock came with house and the little piece of art is not my style anymore. It's just still there. And in here I've got some of these plant hangers from Poundland again and I put some four plants in it. And I usually keep my camera and stuff in here as well so the girls cannot access. This here is our water filter. It's called Prop. 
pool 304 um it's kind of difficult to find it now because one of our friends um also took him ages to find it online i'll see if i can find an um a link to it it's very very good it holds lots of water um doesn't look the best to be honest but yeah and i also put it up on this wooden little stand that i got from uh, tk max and here i know it's like a dumping ground the whole day i've been trying to put stuff away and because the kids are home all the stuff gets back and yeah the dumping around basically i think every kitchen has that and uh, when we renovate the new kitchen i will make sure we've got enough storage for everything so we don't have this on the counter going on okay before we talk about kitchen units and anything this is just my big window which i love so much because i can see in the garden and when the girls play in the garden i can just cook and see what we are doing i've got my uh, orchid plants in here my beautiful babies these are real orchids and i've got a few two more in the lounge as well and just dish soap hand soap and i also displayed my um, utensils this is just a plant pot that i got from tk max and is big enough to hold everything i have and moving on um, this side is my dining table which is a glass table it's not the prettiest in the world but it's been so good with two kids because it's so easy to just wipe everything and it's all nice and clean eventually when we do our new kitchen i would like to have a big extendable wooden table and we will probably have to maybe do a cut to size piece of glass to put on top because it's just too good and I know I'm not worried that everything can, anything can spill and leave a stain because it's just glass and you just wipe it off. And I always have some flowers, which my husband gave me the other day. Okay, so let's start with the kitchen. So, I don't like the things on the counter and in the new kitchen we are going to have like a little hidden place for all the like toaster and cattle and everything and so we went we don't really have many units or maybe more than usual but we've got two big units like these are two it looks like one because you see one is narrower one is larger it's just so you would fit perfectly in here and then we've got our extractor which is just i think it's called carbon fiber extractor is not connected outside we did not buy this from B&Q we just ordered it online and then there is this unit here so <laughs> this I'm um, keeping all of like baking stuff and like sweet like sauces I've got honey and everything in here is all like the savory I've got pasta I put this up for all our um, spices but it only holds few we got rid of lots of spices and also this one they do not i can't put them here and yeah sauces pasta spices and they are quite deep we got the deepest wall unit and in here i have glasses cups and on the other side more glasses and this is tea we love tea we've got like a million types of tea so if you come to our house there will always be something that you may like so then microwave with yes we do have two coffee machines <laughs> this is an old one this is the Nespresso coffee machine with like an espresso pods we used this before it's quite old and we did have lots of extra pods that's why my husband put it out because we ordered lots online and we had some left when we ordered when both the big um coffee machine so now he took it out so we could use the pods as well before they expire i prefer the coffee from a big machine uh, because i like a big cup of coffee this one you have to press a few times if you want to have like a big mug of coffee 
um my husband is italian so he's fine with this one this is a jura a coffee machine it uses like coffee beans you can see i've got mine displayed in here this is just from poland and my favorite mug so yeah this i'm hoping in the next house we can kind of hide it so all everything looks much neater and here i've got two plates this one a beautiful big plates i love using this whenever we have a party i can just put any sandwiches or any like finger foods um anything in here uh this we got as a present from our friends okay so regarding units uh we've got here one which holds um my kenwood and lots of jars then this is the only unit with drawers and i've got the all the cutlery in here then uh, tea towels and in there is all the plastics basically the kids bottles or tupperware our um, hob and cooker again we did not get it from b and q you know we bought it separately this again is an aeg the same mm. as the oven which is like so great and i love this oven then we have a corner unit i know i, I was supposed to move this away but this is so handy uh, this was from poundland and it just holds our plates in here and i'm gonna talk about this more <laughs> in my when i get to the stuff i regret about the kitchen and uh, this is our dishwasher it's just a little one from bosch i will say that uh, i love having a little dishwasher because we can just fill it up and wash it straight away and it only takes 30 minutes to, to wash everything and this has been one of the best dishwasher we got it second hand in was it 2013 i think and it's, it came with us to this house and it's still in a perfect condition and it washes very well so i would definitely recommend a bosch dish, dishwasher moving on again to the sink uh everyone gives me like compliments everyone likes this sink this came with the house we didn't change it basically we used the one that was here so it has two big compartments and one of these in the middle um now I know this is practical because it's so big at the same time I don't like using this to dry the dishes this is just from Ikea is a little one doesn't look very nice anymore uh, yeah just there then here we've got the under sink department cabinet where I keep all my like, cleaning products i got this from home bargains and this is such a great addition to hold the towels just under the sink and then we've got the last unit which uh, is full of uh, pots and pans and is always as soon as i organize it everything it just gets thrown in and it gets disorganized again so this is how the kitchen looks like and we went for this let me say countertop um i wouldn't go for this style again but because just because of how it looks but it has been amazing uh it's not natural wood obviously and uh, i've used this side so many times because i cook lunch and dinner most of the days and i had spill I spilled lots of stuff and there is no even one mark on the countertop after six years of being used every single day so I would definitely recommend and uh, yeah it's been great the splash bag uh, we use this metro is it metro yeah style tiling the tiles were from B and Q again and uh, even if i have white grouting it hasn't been too bad i usually uh, spray it with some uh, bleach 
and you will get white again so i need to do it again around here before we leave so we leave the house nice and clean and moving back here is the flooring we went for white tiles which wasn't a great idea and the grouting is gray um i think i need to move on to my kitchen regrets so i can talk more about this these tiles are from b and q again and then on this wall uh kind of wish they were some more things in here um this plug is convenient it doesn't look the best in here it was the plugs were here already and you can see my girls masterpieces one here and one in there uh, i'm gonna paint everything to leave it a nice clean finish when we leave i don't want the new buyers to just come to a stained kitchen so we're gonna paint all of this again and in here i've got some prints these prints are from aliexpress the frame this frame frame hanger frame is from ikea and these frames are from um the range okay so talking about the kitchen regrets uh number one has to be the extractor i wish we went for the one with the outside um exit pipe how you call it uh the one that is connected outside and it actually the air circulates all the like smells go out instead of coming back in the room uh this is more for like decor really if anyone has this kind of extractor it doesn't work uh, if anyone is telling you otherwise it doesn't work i'm telling you it doesn't work i love cooking and like i said i cook every single day and even if i make a fried egg which is not the smelliest food that you can cook the smell will go everywhere in the house no matter at what speed i switch on the extractor so if you're doing a full house renovation if you know that you cook a lot and especially when you cook fish or I, lo I love making curry or any kind of like Mexican food and they are kind of they smell a little bit stronger and the whole house will just smell of food so invest in a proper extractor this is what we are gonna do ne next time I know it's a bigger job you have to like break through the wall to make the exit outside but it's totally totally worth it it's pointless to make a beautiful kitchen and then you'll have a smell go throughout the house when you cook Step number two is not choosing more units with a draw uh, we only have one which has got three draws i wish we had at least one more and we could have used a draw for all of our like i wouldn't call it junk <laughs> but i know like little tissues or little things that usually ends up on like this side which is our dumping ground so we could use like one draw and keep it all like hidden and um, i know everyone has one of those rows uh, maybe to have space for my utensils the one that i don't use every day so i display only the nice ones at the moment all of them are in that plant pot uh, so yeah if you're planning a new kitchen definitely get more units with draws. I know they are more expensive, but they are definitely worth it. They are just so worth it. When we do our new kitchen, I will opt for having lots of units with draws. Like that number three, this is about the corner unit. Um, our corner unit, we chose it because it was quite cheap. At the time, uh, we didn't have enough money to invest in like a big, uh, more expensive kitchen so we went to we went with this option when you just open these doors like so and then you have your corner unit but these doors always have to be adjusted because they just go wonky and we constantly adjust it um 
it's not great first the door second we didn't have any insert for the inside you know the one like to, to pull it out the shelves that you pull out to have everything more accessible so it's just a corner unit it's a big waste of space i go there my plate is difficult to just get in i literally have to get inside with half of my body to access everything i have in there that's why lots of stuff are not used they just stay in there because i forget to have them and you can't see anything it's dark in there so i will opt out for uh, corner unit that has only one door but I know it's not gonna go unbalanced and with a pull out um, how do you call it I think they also have something which is like a lazy season or they have like pull out shelves which is just so much easier I know that you kind of lose a little bit of space but it's so worth it and I know that it's a little bit more expensive but definitely I we'll go for one of those when we do our new kitchen and the grab number four or five i kind of lost the count is the flooring the white this is more like off white like creamy the same color as the kitchen flooring is not the best and the when we got the uh, the man to do the flooring uh, he kind of did stuff without asking us and he put this grey grouting I don't know if I would have gone for some other colour white probably is not a good idea either because it would have got gotten all um, dirty maybe black but I will suggest to not go for this kind of light colour flooring in the new kitchen i would prefer to have maybe if i have tiles i'll have a one that look like wood they look like wood laminate it's, they're so beautiful or just use some uh, water resistant beautiful wood effect laminate it will look so much nicer and if the color is done in a way that you can't really see all the dirt uh, I have to wash the floor every single day otherwise it builds up and it looks disgusting and the grouting I just don't like it <laughs> it's not my style anymore and these tiles be careful with the tiles that you choose in a very busy area uh, these we got from B&Q they were on offer and we like them because they've got a bit of texture and they were the same color as the kitchen but they were a bit too thin in fact we do have few cracked ones we have some spare ones in the after that we're gonna leave in here if the new owners want to change the, t the cracked tiles because there are two of them or if maybe they will want to just uh, change the flooring completely another thing i wanted to mention quickly is the storage underneath your cooker so you can see that we have our oven in there and on the bottom we do have like a piece that covers like the how do you say the empty space in there but it, you cannot open it just fixed in there i wish i went for a unit that had a little draw on the bottom so i could put all the pot the cooking you know pans in there so if you are going for a new kitchen and you're trying to design your kitchen make sure you've got enough space somewhere don't lose this space underneath just pay a little bit extra and get a drawer put in so you can use it as a storage for your baking trays okay so in conclusion i wanted to say that if you are looking to get a kitchen from b and q and i'm talking about the cook and lewis um it's definitely worth it it's lasted us for so long it's been six years and it still looks like new uh, the only thing yeah it's a corner unit which we always have to adjust but it's not the kitchen's fault is the design i mean we use it so many times and it has to be adjusted but overall 
this is a great quality kitchen which it wasn't too expensive i will try and leave the details of how much it costs it in the description box so make sure to go and check it out because i have to ask my husband he will have to go through the papers just so i don't just give you a random number uh, bear in mind that we bought this in 2015 so probably the prices have changed i don't know we haven't looked into this yet when we get to renovate our kitchen in the new house uh, we will have to look around shop around for a new kitchen again i'm not sure which uh, what kind of kitchen we're gonna get but we'll definitely have more units put in and i want like a little space to hide all the appliances and everything now this was the tour of my kitchen yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this don't miss our full house tour i'm gonna film this house and then when we move to a new house by the time you're watching this we will be there so i would have filmed the full house tour before renovating anything we are going to do everything on a budget and try to do lots of things ourselves especially myself because I love doing DIYs and our new house is a beautiful Edwardian house. I can't wait to move in. So yeah, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, bye, bye.